The Sunyani West constituency has been the stronghold of the New Patriotic Party since 1996 when it won the seat from the National Democratic Congress. The constituency shares its boundary with six other constituencies, namely Sunyani East, Tanon North, Wenchi, Brekum East, Tai, and Techiman South. Some of the major towns in the constituency include the capital, Odumasi, others include Chira, Fiapri, Dumesuya, Mentukwa, Ayakumaso, and Insuatre. Farming is the major work of the inhabitants in this constituency, with a few engaged in petty trading. Major challenges confronting the constituency are bad road network and unemployment. We have one person, a bind with who you Now, Baba Boy and Kawaya Quina, am I ever sana? Can you answer, say, send ye? Quina, I say, no. Ever sa board gentleman, as all by name, sir, engine and nasty for never that in Viano. Maintenance and so bad and so bad, say, above from Yaquampo, I did Kalabakoko <laughs> In the 2016 elections, the Minister of Employment and Labor Relations, Ignatius Bafuewa, pulled a little over 29,000 votes, defeating his close contender, Justice Samoleji of the NDC, who was a then Deputy Bono Hafu Regional Minister. He had over 17,000 votes. In the 2020 elections, three persons are eyeing to represent Sunyani West in Parliament. They include the incumbent MP Ignatius Bafuewa on the ticket of the MPP, Melissent Amankwa representing the NDC, and Bernard Odotechi, an independent candidate who resigned from the MPP when he was disqualified to contest. Ignatius Bafuewa during the MPP parliamentary primaries. You see, our MP, Honorable Ignatius Bafuewa, has been in government for quite a long time. And he is masterpiece of everything. And he is very calm, he's cool, he knows what he's doing. So we, the campaign team, we are moving from places to places, meeting particularly the youth. Because we know that this time, the uh, decision is going to be based on the youth. They haven't voted before. When it comes to the adults, they have voted before and they know the trend. But it's the youth that we are targeting. So particularly we are meeting the youth from places to places. Bernard Odo Techi, his chances are very bright. The independent candidate for Sunyan West. Because um, not even a single community within the constituency that he hasn't undertaken any uh, project. If you have an independent candidate who has never been to parliament before and he's able to buy 100 electricity bulbs, street light bulbs for a community and each of the bulbs cost 6.7 so at the store he paid 670 million which is 67,000 in, in the new currency and he has installed all of them he's repairing boreholes boreholes which have been 40 for almost four years five years they come to him and he he, he goes and repair them and people are getting water giving water to people meaning you want to enhance their life life is water is life so his chances are very bright and the chances are first you know what the mimi who say inshallah come be as well in yanko pompa december 7th you know by me sent a boy man quite a bit me and winning the seat and they just ended ec voters registration exercise the constituency registered 74,329 voters, made up of 38,874 females and 35,453 males. Some of the constituents have been speaking to City News on the preferred parliamentary candidate 
for the December elections. This year, I met in train at Chum. I am honourable, but for we are not used to young West. You can get here with the enemy. But this year, I am saying, "Nima bi oha, emwaye." You have said this time, dear. Yes, sir. Nima mi sente soba, A A N D C. Now, no soba yeshe. Mwa ubiti e diabuaye. So, if you are in Kwetu, I am trying to share ya. In Kenya, sir, Papa, I am fine. I agro. Of per se, Oba ubi biya be dan Kenya. A fin su su and a ya quine and also a chino su ku sum a ye a dear edda papa ya kuma su ye papa pa mira sa make a same ka a dear betche and in tinu ma pa wa yen ti na me per semi san tuan so. The executives of the various political parties are optimistic of winning the parliamentary seat for their respective political parties. Ignorance is about four years winning. We are targeting not less than eighty percent. Considering the work he has done in these areas, they have given him their support. So definitely he is winning. His chances are well, but he's, he's somebody who doesn't uh, make horror promises. He keeps to all his promises he makes to, to the community within the constituency. And for this, I can assure you that he's going to win with a very convincing and undisputable gap. Time will tell as who becomes the next member of parliament for Sinyani West come December 7th. Michael Saponinfoum in Seattle.